say at the moment it's been an absolute struggle for a lot of people. We've been moving backwards. It's been a pay freeze that we've had for five years now and that has meant in real terms we've had a 13% pay cut. Um, cost of living 15% in the last five years has increased. A lot of our members on the lowest pay are doing two or three more jobs just to survive and it's not tenable. Sí, dos trabajos más que tengo, tengo el BR y, y, y cada año pues le están mandando unas cartas que está viendo tas mil, dos mil libras y es una cosa pues que es muy desastrosa pues no hay que qué vamos a hacer con tanto impuesto. Shorter contracts, zero hours contracts being used for uh, a lot of hourly paid lecturing but also for research as well. We certainly have a lot of precarious employment with part-time workers, with fixed-term workers, with no security of employment. We're one of the branches where the London waiting has been frozen for about 12, 13 years now as well. A parent shouldn't have to um, reduce their weekly food bill because their kid needs new shoes, you know? But sadly, that's the reality we're living in today. We've had members reporting to us that they have had members of their family going to food banks, particularly in the North East. You've got the, the hit of things like the cut of EMA for those who have like um, children who have grown up going to college now. Um, you have the cuts to other uh, benefits happening. One member had a 5,000% loan repayment. Um, had another member who was losing uh, who, who was facing bailiffs at his door because he couldn't pay the rent. It's ridiculous. The people at the bottom are being told no because we're going through hard times, then, then everybody has to make sacrifices. But it's not the people at the top, the people who caused the crisis in the first place, who are, who are um, making these sacrifices. Mm. It's not. It's working people, it's single mums, it's low-paid workers. It's the people who essentially keep the economy going. The employer's final offer, uh, after not really negotiating at all, was 1%. If we don't fight this, um the employers and the government will think that it's easy to attack us and they'll push further. It's really necessary to do something about it and really take some decisive action. But unless we fight, there's just more of the same in prospect. We've got a responsibility to ourselves, our colleagues and those who come after us not to, uh, not to give in. pay claim is a decent claim above the retail price index, above the inflation rate, to give us a chance to catch up with the pay we've lost. The universities over the last year especially have been taking £9,000 a year fees from students. Most universities actually have big surpluses, they can afford the pay offer. crisis and a lot of us are suffering for it so I would say that if you vote for a strike uh, you're actually doing a wise thing in terms of your own self and for your colleagues around you. There are over 4,000 members of staff below the living wage. The employers refuse to agree for a national living wage agreement 
we've said they must, and it must apply to all contracted out staff, as well as in-house staff. Inicié mi trabajo en esta universidad de SOAS, ganaba el sueldo mínimo, eh, situación por la que tenía que trabajar largas jornadas para poder sostenerme. We had staff working here where they had six of them living in a one bedroom apartment because the wage was so low, they couldn't rent their own place. Some people is coming only working for four hours, so half the salary is for the transport. Tenemos que recorrer Londres de un lado para otro, eh, en varias partes, en varias compañías, y así nos prendemos tiempo en nuestras casas. Si mi esposo salía, yo iba llegando a la casa y así sucesivamente nos veíamos poco. Entonces tengo una hija también y eso afecta demasiado el núcleo familiar. We had one staff here that was living here in our kitchen for three years. We didn't even know that because he couldn't afford to live anywhere else. Éramos invisibles. No nos conocían acá en la universidad. Parece que hace 12, 13, 14 años atrás los cleaners no existían. Nos organizamos por medio del sindicato de Uniso y hace más o menos 6 o 7 años conseguimos el salario digno. Nos hemos organizado, hemos hecho manifestaciones frente aquí a la universidad. Nos hemos concienciado nosotros mismos de que no debemos tener miedo cuando se trata de nuestros derechos. The only reason we've gotten so far is because people have gotten upset about it, wanted to have some solidarity with their colleagues that work around them, and um, it's progressed quite well after some struggle. Now you can do other things, you can buy other things, you can change your life al to be mi vida cambió porque conseguí el beneficio de trabajar un poco menos de horas y poder compartir con mi familia a quienes no les podía dedicar mucho tiempo. Es un derecho que se organicen y que por ayuda del sindicato y el apoyo de todas las personas lo podamos lograr, como lo logramos aquí en la Universidad de Soas. take action and we all need to do it so we all need to vote for the strike. Our consultative ballots, um, our members that were asked, it was 80% of them actually agreed that they would vote but that needs to be now carried through with the proper ballot paper and actually acknowledge that you want to stand up and be counted. We need to take on the government, it's not just about the individual employers, the, the government is setting rules to try and you know force the colleges to you, you know to claw back whatever they can from staff costs. The reason we've been successful here is because we've persevered and because when things have really mattered, our branch has managed to pull together. I think unity is extremely important. We won the living wage for low paid workers at London Met. We campaign against job losses. We campaign against compulsory redundancies. We win increased redundancy pay for our members by taking industrial action. victory of the Lewisham Hospital campaign was great and it showed that if you stand together with a big active campaign you can win. We've got five unions recognised in higher ed so the aim is to go out together. We don't think that this is going to be one with one day strike. We think that we need to escalate that. We need to talk seriously about coordinating with other unions against this coalition. The government of austerity such as the fire brigades union Posties, the teaching unions that were already in dispute, the civil service unions, and so on. When we took action in 2011 over pensions, it was very clear that there was power in that solidarity that we had. We envisaged that this year it could be a similar thing around pay. Me parece que hemos unirnos 
tanto nosotros darles un apoyo a estas otras universidades o a otros o a otros sitios de trabajo. You have to fight. You have to stand up because there's there's such a thing as a quality of life. We're not going to have living standards for working people cut anymore while we can see the rich just stuffing their pockets. Right?